So in the last videos, we discussed about how do we find out the improper integral? How do we evaluate the improper integral? So there are two types of improper integral. One type is if one or both of the limit of integration were infinity. And second type of integral is if the one or both limit of integration are finite, but the function, the integrand we call the function, is infinity at one or both of the uh, uh, limit of integration or sometimes uh, there is a point in the region of integration or between a and b between the limit of integration if there is a point or more than one point that the function is infinity our function is not continuous okay in that case we did limit r tends to whatever that number is like we did in the uh, limit uh, so the improper integral is one or both of the limits at infinity okay with these similar techniques okay now what we are going to do next is comparison test for improper integral okay and this test also um, this also works for the proper integral so what it says is so sometimes you may want to know just whether an integral converse or diverse you just want to know that okay so you don't want so you may not be interested to find out how much is the integral how much is the area just you want to show whether the area is finite or infinite if you want to if you are not interested in the values but interested whether it converse or diverse then the comparison test can be very easy to apply most of the times okay but what is the comparison test all right so let fx and gx are continuous in on the interval a through infinity and both fx and gx are positive okay both fx and gx are positive and they are greater or equals to, so the, so gx is smaller function and fx is bigger function you see that so both of them are positive fx is bigger than gx then if the bigger function converts the integral of the bigger function converts if fx dx converts then a to infinity gx dx also converts because you see that if you do the integral here if the bigger one has the finite integral or if the area under the upper curve upper function is uh, finite then the area under the lower function must be finite as well right that's what it is saying if the integral of the bigger function converts then the integral of the smaller function converts. Similarly, if the integral of the smaller function diverges, if this integral is infinity, then the bigger function will have infinity also, right? So it will be bigger than that. That's why it is also it also diverges. But how about the other way? If gx converts, if the integral of gx converts, can we say integral of fx converts? No, we cannot say that. If the smaller integral, if the integral of the smaller function is finite then it cannot guarantee that the integral of the bigger function is finite similarly if the integral of fx is infinite meaning that if the integral fx diverges then we cannot say integral of gx diverges because the bigger function is infinite does not imply the smaller function will be infinity and so on okay so we'll be using using this technique to check the convergence or divergence okay so let's see example does the inf integral 1 through infinity 1 over 1 plus x to the 4 converse or diverse? That's what it is asking, right? So on this, what we can do is we know we know that 1 over 1 plus x to the 4th is less or equals to 1 over x to the 4th. Do you agree with this? You see that? So here there is 1 plus, but here I remove that 1. So meaning when the denominator decrease, then the whole fraction increase, right? You see that? 1 over 3 and 1 over 2. So the denominator is decreased. So 1 over 2 is less than 1 over 3, greater than 1 over 3, right? 1 over 3 is less than 1 over 2. So I am just getting that 1 out, meaning this is bigger function, right? When the denominator decrease, then the whole fraction will increase. So this is what we can get. Now, this is like fx. This is like gx, right? This is like, sorry, this is like gx. This is like fx, right? f of x. So both are positive functions. You see that? This is gx, this is fx. Now what it says is if gx is smaller than fx 
and both of them are positive this is positive this is positive function then what you can say that so if the bigger function converts then the smaller function will converge right so that means this will converge but but 1 through infinity 1 over x to the 4 converts by p integral right because what we say integral because what the formula says is if p is greater than 1 then 1 over x to the p on this interval 1 through infinity will converge this converts hence by comparison tests by comparison test let me write comp test comparison test 1 through infinity the smaller one 1 plus x to the 4 dx also converts that's what we can get okay so similarly look at this one and you know what this also also you can apply on this this integral too although it is not positive okay this function is not positive apply the similar technique here although this is not positive what can we say here is because that you know we know we know you see that sine x over x square is less or equals to 1 over x square right you see that and this function and this function is sine x over x square is greater or equals to negative 1 over x square you can try that that means what can we write that here is negative 1 over x square is less or equals to sine x over x square is less or equals to 1 over x square but that means the sine x over x square is sandwiched between one negative 1 over x square and positive 1 over x square but both of this integral 1 over negative 1 over x square and 1 over x square if you set the integral sign there if you set this integral sign here and here 1 through infinity both of them will be a finite number you see that both of them will be will converge so the middle function will converge too you see that if there are three functions you will see this kind of uh, comparison test in uh, in chapter 9 we will talk about that okay actually this book your calculus book is does not uh, has not talk about the comparison test on section 8.8 .8. so you may not see the uh, homework problem there okay so in this case also you can say that since they are converges right which are converges this one is converges and this one is converges. so the middle one must converge hence Hence, the sine x over x square must integral 1 through infinity and then dx converse. You see that you can use the sandwich concept, right? Because if it is just, if all of them are positive, like here, then just lesser equals to is enough and the bigger integral converse is enough to do that. But if you don't know the positive, because sine x can be positive or negative, right? between 1 and infinity for x it can be positive or negative but we are able to see that the sine x over x square can be fit between negative 1 over x square and positive 1 over x square but both of these integral converse right so the middle integral will converge also but uh, again so we don't know how much is this you know we don't know how much is that the value of the integral but we can just say that it converse also this one converse okay now let us do another example that is the last example for this chapter for this chapter and what it says is 2 through infinity 1 over root under x square minus 1 dx converse does it converse or diverse okay now let us use the comparison theorem 1 over x square minus 1 and 1 over x square which one is bigger what do you think here which one has the smaller uh, denominator is the x square minus 1 has a smaller denominator or the x square just x square has smaller denominator you're right x square minus 1 has smaller denominator so the the fraction is bigger this is what you get so by the way under the root don't forget that one under the root so how much is that 1 over x right you see that 1 over root under x square minus 1 is greater or equals to 1 over root under x square which is same as 1 over x but which does this integral converge 1 over x converge or no this diverse right since since 2 through infinity 1 over x dx diverse why because it is a p integral test because this exponent is less than 1 on the 2 through infinity hence see you see that 
this is smaller function this is smaller function this is bigger function okay so since the smaller function the integral of the smaller function diverse then the integral of the bigger function must diverse too hence by comparison test comparison test 2 3 infinity 1 over under the root x square minus 1 diverges dx diverges so you can say that right now similar results holds for the improper integral on the interval a b meaning that if it is not continuous in uh, a or not continuous in b or not continuous in a point inside a b that is c then we can apply the similar concept okay guys all right that's all for chapter 8.8 .8.